Welcome back to Highline Staten Island. So today we're on the eastern tip of Staten Island, better known as 10305. We're gonna take you from Edgewater to Fort Wadsworth all the way to Seaview Hospital. 10305, as you can tell, absolutely beautiful zip code. There's a lot of notable things here in 10305. Let's get out there and show you. like many other areas in Staten Island is very water centric as you could see a lot of houses a lot of little pockets right on the water looking right out at the Verrazano looking out of Manhattan this one little pocket is really cool you got the Harbor House bed and breakfast right across the street you have the Matthew J Buono Beach that was actually named after Matthew Buono who died in the Vietnam War there's also a Veterans Memorial Fountain as you walk down the pretty beachfront. Uh, right across the street also is the Alice Austin House. She was a prominent New York City photographer. She lived right here in the 18 and early 1900s. Housing here, like many other neighborhoods, very mixed, urban, three families, two families tight on top of each other. You have this big, beautiful 31 Highland Boulevard. The units have very nice views of the Verrazano, Manhattan. You have senior centers, you have new developments, townhouses stacked on top of each other, of course. That's a Staten Island treat. You have this very big building, brand new construction. Should be ready to go soon, it looks like. Nice addition to the neighborhood. You have St. Paul's Church, absolutely beautiful. And it's just a very mixed, beautiful neighborhood as you drive down. Look at all the houses. Each one is different than the next. Look at this house, looks like it belongs in Los Angeles. As you approach Shore Acres, the houses there are to die for. I mean, look at this house. It looks like a mansion in New Jersey. This looks like some castle in Europe. The houses are really, really cool. And you know, you have your mixture of two families, corner properties, single families, like I said before, three families. You have a, a bunch of different living spaces here. And eventually you approach Fort Wadsworth, which is a very historic military base right in the shadow of the Verrazano. I mean, you could you drive right up next to it. You can go right underneath it. The walks, the views, everything here is really, really nice. And this fort actually played a pivotal role in guarding New York Harbor, along with Fort Hamilton right on the other side of the water in Brooklyn. This red building actually used to be a horse stable, which must have been really cool to see horses walking around right at the foot of the Verrazano Bridge. And then of course you have your typical military base things. You got all kinds of army vehicles and everything. As you exit the base, you can make your way to the South Beach Boardwalk. Tons of things going on over here. Bocce ball, bocce ball clubs. You have the boardwalk. It's actually the fourth longest boardwalk in the world. Right across the border is Coney Island. Really nice place to go for a walk, go for a run, just hang out for a little bit, take in the views. There's fishing piers right off the boardwalk, of course. Real nice, real nice areas. And then this is directly across the street from the boardwalk. You got a bunch of different kinds of housing over here. A lot of townhouses, some bungalows. This whole area was underwater, under massive amounts of water with Hurricane Sands. And as you make your way down Father Capadano Boulevard, you see this huge building that is the Ocean Breeze Athletic Complex, humongous indoor track, people from all over the East Coast come and compete there. And as you make your way down Seaview Avenue, you pass Staten Island North University Hospital, the Psychiatric Center, the Heart Tower, everything that has to do with hospital stuff. We wish we could name every business, but a few notables as we did this episode. Bagels on the Boulevard, Bloom Cafe, Rosebank Tavern, Tony's Brick Oven Pizza, Bayou, Maisal, Bella Beans Cafe, Don Cheech, Bay Street Tavern, South Finn, Jay's on the Bay, Olivetto, Volkswagen Dealership, of course, Rab's Country Lanes, been here forever, the best, 
and Hyundai dealerships. There's a lot of car dealerships down here as well. Tim Hortons, and that's about it. 